The only thing worse than how my voice sounds right now is the fact that he was running low texture quality with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Welcome back to another episode of PC Sherpa Live, except this time I am chronically sick. Don't worry, this is not going to be lasting for the entirety of the video, but I still needed to record an intro, and of course I had to get sick before I went and recorded that, so here we are. I'll let previous me talk about his specs and everything like that, but if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the usual buttons, liking, subscribing, join the Discord that is linked in the top link in the description below, and tune into my streams sometimes. The times are on screen right now. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking so that you don't have to hear this voice anymore, and... Let's get straight to the video. To, to clear up what you have, you have a you have a 3060. No, we, I am currently on a 4060 Ti. Okay. Uh, a Ryzen 7 7800X3D. Oh, oh. And I have 32 gigabytes of 52 or 5500. I didn't build this PC myself. That's the other reason that I'm like so confused and like even people like Giga Beef were getting to the point where they're like well maybe you don't have the right motherboard bios edition and i'm like i have no clue what any of this is because i went through a starforge systems like mm -hmm. company builder and you can kind of pick and choose your parts so you could save money where you want to they assemble the system but it's what was suggested to me by people you know and friends whatever relatives you know people that know pcs mm -hmm. because i wasn't comfortable building my own uh, just yet or whatever right they offered a deal on a build it your own you know you start with the 7800 x3d build the pc so i did you know and yeah i saved on the 4060 ti instead of getting a 4080 which i regret i'm looking into stepping up to a 4080 soon but the 4060 is still killer you know That's it still still work, yeah. No, it's... Yeah, it's still amazing. It's just, you know, I don't have any other responsibilities in life, really. So, you know, spending money on tech is what I do. Um, the end, of, the problem that I overall have, it's not that the PC doesn't run well. It's just like, you know, I'll get 200 frames in factory, 60 frames on shoreline. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just okay. all over the place. Yeah, but that's, you know, I don't want to say, well, that's Tarkov. All right, end the episode. But yeah, I was going to say, and I hate, if you don't get a video out of me, I feel bad if this is just going to end with you going, yeah, it's probably just Tarkov being a shitty game. It's like, well, then I guess I'll just accept that. I but guess, you know? with your, your FPS factory is always going to run better than Shoreline. It's going to, and Shoreline's going to run better right. than streets, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, wow, I'm actually extremely computer illiterate. So I bought a pre-built and I have no clue if it's running the way it should. And again, you've already said it twice. Maybe it's just Tarkov. But yeah, the, be nice to be sure. Yeah, know? we'll just we'll we'll do some checks. You have, so to, to be clear, have you like been tweaking a lot, like with the system? On this one, not much at okay, all. I okay. think I did Trey twenty four Ks in video, and you could cut out anyone's names. Like I'm just no, you're good. No, that like, won't give a but shit. But I did Trey twenty four Ks. Like he's got like an Nvidia. Like don't use post effects. It takes thirty frames. Oh, don't yeah. use post effects. So I don't use post effects. And I oh. did trade twenty four Ks Nvidia settings. And I I went into my Nvidia. You know what is control this? panel? Mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I went into control panel and I um. What what is it? So, so I went, went into uh, trays things or whatever here. here you yeah. know. So, so this, this is what boots up with my PC when it boots up. up. And this is just unfortunately crammed into my PC because I have. Yes, Valorant I installed. You know, League of Le League of Legends. Oh, not adopted oh I'm I mean, sorry for your loss. Yeah, yeah. I get the same performance, right? I was just going to mention though, but I seem to get the same performance. I'll sometimes have more applications open than I maybe should when trying to game. Yeah. On Tarkov, so like I'll be running Steam and Clicker Heroes because it's an idle game, and I'm mm. addicted to idle games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so I'll just sometimes have Clicker Hero running in the background, and I know that fucks with performance, I'm sure, so I'll stop that sometimes. But then I don't notice, like, a performance boost. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let's say you had Clicker Heroes open in the background and you had Tarkov, right? Let's say, for example, if Tarkov is using, like, I don't I don't know what settings you're running in Tarkov right now, but let's say hypothetically, right, uh, if you were using, I don't like... actually either, but I think they're medium now. Having that extra application open in the background would only affect performance if that is directly putting a wrench into the assembly line right so like if if your if your game if tarkov was say bottlenecked on one core and all the other cores had a little bit of extra processing room and cookie clicker was say just running on those other background cores uh or not background cores but running on those other cores that aren't the core that's bottlenecking tarkov's performance you won't actually see a performance difference because it's not 
directly interfering and causing pressure on the pressure point that's determining your performance at that time. Right, because the, I'm dumb. There's eight cores. Two of the yeah. cores are running Tarkov. The other four cores can do six cores, whatever, can do whatever the hell they want to do. Well, they won't. well, for ex you could say that, but obviously you don't want to set Tarkov on two cores. So now is that something I should download to process less or is just good to have on a PC in general? Uh, I mean, if you like in your situation where you're like, yeah, I sometimes have a good bit of things open in the background, then maybe like because like you could put Tarkov onto six cores and then have like the clicker game on the other two or something, right? But right. what Process Lasso is really good for is like, for example, with Intel's 12th through 14th gen, when they have the performance cores and they have all the efficiency cores, you can really just say like, just section off stuff to not be interfering with your performance at all and just have like your browsers on your e-cores. Like for when I'm streaming, for example, I put like OBS on my efficiency cores and uh, Discord on my efficiency cores and my browser, et cetera, all that. And that's good because then for example like the situation i just told you about a minute ago where it's like there's one core that's bottlenecking tarkov if that was the case hypothetically right in that case those tasks would be on those efficiency cores where the game is not bottlenecked on actively right now <laughs> so it wouldn't for sure impact performance at all there unless there was another third factor like your rams maxing out or for example or something like that right um, right right or it's putting more load on your GPU and then your GPU becomes the bottleneck because of having that extra stuff open or whatever. That's kind of the use of process lasso. So like you can use process lasso for eight cores, but you do have to sort of find a balance because you can't, for example, to put an extreme out, you can't put like discord on a single core. It's going to shit itself. Right. There's a point to where you can't isolate that stuff out, but you need to make sure you have a good balance, right? Like sometimes I know for people who have a like a eight core CPU, they'll try things like doing a six and two mix or like a five and three mix or something like that. It's like five cores for the game and three cores for the other stuff in their backgrounds, so browsers, discord, etc., whatever. And then this is the Ooh. graphics I'm currently running. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, all over the place. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. I don't, you know, I, again, so many different videos have been followed yeah. at this point. That um, I don't, you know, okay. You know, Actually, it's I, not, uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was, but the, the DLSS is crazy. Um, do you have the 4060 Ti you have? Is it a 8 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte? 16. Okay. It's a 16. Yeah, so you definitely don't need. So DLSS, it helps you when you're GPU bound. Unless you're at 100% GPU usage, DLSS will offer no performance in increase at all. Because like, say for example, what DLSS does, it takes with what you have it set right now for DLSS balance, for instance, it's taking 59% right of your resolution, it's downscaling it. So boom, it's at 59%, that's the base resolution. So whatever math that works out to 59% to 1440p, that would be your base resolution. And then DLSS takes that image and then tries to upscale that to make it look similar to 1440p, as similar right. as it can. Issue with that is that obviously that's less pixels, that's less information, it might be harder to see in the distance. Uh, so, Ideally, you wouldn't want to have to use DLSS because you would want to have a native image for the best image clarity. I will say to you though, DLSS, you will notice when, like if you load into an offline raid, you're gonna notice that your image is probably gonna look a bit more unstable or uh, a little bit blurry because of TAA. Uh, DLSS's anti-aliasing is amazing. I love that Grayzone had DLAA like as an option because it's essentially like you take DLSS's yeah, yeah, ability yeah. to stabilize an image, but it's still at native resolution. So it's just right. Uh, I, I absolutely love how it looks, but um, that's why when you said DLAA, I was like, well, there's TAA. Maybe there's yeah, a DLAA there. There's but, not, you know, but I, I wish uh, there was. I would kill for that. I might have the shittiest looking game ever, and I might think I have a great looking game, or it might be fine, and I might not need to change much, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's one of those things that it's like... Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You have Streets of Tarkov lower res mode on. <laughs> yeah. Again... You don't need that. You just start clicking stuff, you, you don't know need what I'm that. saying? Yeah, it's you can... Like... I, actually, I'll leave that for later. Never mind. I'll leave that for later. Yeah, but yeah, for now, that's take this, yeah, save yeah, yeah. this, go into an offline Streets raid. Man, it's so bland. Oh... 
I'm sorry. So yeah, I don't bland. know what. The, and again, I again, I, Nvidia control panel. I have that so fucked up. When I look up at my 1080p monitor, which is above me, it's so much more vibrant for some reason. And I, again, probably because I fucked with whatever Trey was telling me to fuck yeah, with. Oh it. god. Not that he told me to fuck with it, but yeah. you get a YouTube video, best Tarkov settings 2023, yeah. and then you look at it, oh, I gotta, I gotta go. I so, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take DLSS and throw it in a bin. Uh, so put that to off. And you don't have to restart your PC no, for any of that no. stuff. No, you right? just hit save right, and so then it will. Boom, saved. There we go. Now it's gonna be a little little bit more shimmery because DLSS is really good at keeping things stable. So it's gonna look a little bit yeah, more shimmery. I noticed shimmery. that with the bars in yeah, the distance. Yeah, uh-huh. But on the flip side, you're now running at native resolution, which should be clearer at further distances. Uh, we're not using yeah i do feel like i see that tank in the distance way better that's yeah. like actually a tank now i could see like the treads and the wheels and whatnot yeah what else should we do uh go back into your settings real quick yeah absolutely and then we're gonna check oh yeah and reflex that was a thing too yes so what should happen is uh, get out of the settings real quick what should happen is when you turn off reflex you'll see a slight bump in fps very slight uh and that's it you shouldn't see like a 20 to 30 percent boost so now that we know that you're sitting at like roughly 85 ish fps here you can go ahead and turn it off and then see okay like six frames 10 frames yeah the main thing with reflex to explain sort of how it works is like it syncs up the work that the CPU and GPU does so that when the CPU is done with whatever it's doing, it instantly goes to the GPU to get rendered and pushed out. Uh, there's another part to that as well, but long story short, that process does have a little bit of overhead, but it reduces the actual latency of the frame getting to your monitor considerably. Or I should, I should say the PC latency. That's why I still recommend running it on the on plus boost uh, while it's still fine. Uh, tightens up the timings between what the CPU and GPU are doing even more. Uh, and it also, it's mainly meant to keep GPU clocks high if you were in a scenario where you were extremely CPU bottlenecked and your GPU was getting such low utilization that it was actually down clocking uh, to like conserve power. That's what boost is meant to help alleviate so you don't have those hitches when the GPU's spinning up essentially. I would probably, since you don't need the features of boost, I would probably just run it on and then okay. lock that in. If you were like- now, I have noticed I'm hitting 99% on my GPU. I don't think I ever was hitting that before with like yes. the DLSS and all that. Off. Because NVIDIA Reflex actually doesn't allow you to hit 100% GPU usage. It keeps you at like 98 or 99%. I mean, it de depends on how it, uh, how it displays the value just a little bit under maximum usage because that's actually ideal for latency so okay that's why it does that it's not a bad thing per se but that's why it does that that's then something i guess i'll have to just take time playing with on and off you yeah. know and like died in a gunfight turn it on died in a gunfight turn it off just see which one ends up ever feeling better or something mm -hmm. you know whichever gunfight makes you more angry yeah, 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 yeah. Then you That's know the one that I shouldn't use. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to fix the NVIDIA issues that Any, were in anything. there? If you think this game looks ugly, you can tell me, and I will fix anything. Okay, that, let's see. You know, well, actually, look. If you are used to the saturation you have right now through the NVIDIA settings, which for the viewers at home, you can't see right now because that's that's applied to his monitor. Like we cannot see that brightness adjustment enable those really quick and then hit visualize this is your night oh, vision okay. setting i'm assuming be, yeah, yeah. I, was gonna, I was gonna say I, do yeah. you know what this is the night uh -huh. vision setting, yeah so i already know i already know enough. with yeah set everything back to zero and then hit visualize so i'll show you this really quick um you see your fps right now 69 68 ish yeah right about where it was with yep. uh set with clarity up just push clarity off z off zero to any value So clarity, to let you know that reduces yeah. FPS, but I do love how oh, clarity always... looks. If you have clarity set to any value except zero, it takes a slice of performance. What it, that's when your it GPU takes, it when your GPU bound, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is GPU. This is, bound yes, right now, right? yeah, yes. Yeah. And then in the right. same fashion, adaptive sharpen. If you turn that on to any value that's not zero, you're going to see a similar drop. 
Yep. That Same was thing. Four frames, five frames. Yep. Now, what I would like, like if you set like adaptive sharpen to 50, obviously this is if you have the GPU headroom and if slash when, whenever you upgrade, I would set adaptive sharpen to 50, clarity to 50. I will say the yellows and greens to me now on my screen, this is way more. These were very similar colors, these two guys. That they I did are notice that. Yeah. They are definitely not so much the same color anymore yeah so if, if you to... want i can i can give you my post effects but they're probably going to look like awful because of the nvidia settings you have i can how do i so because so the nvidia settings they're on they should be in I, um, the adjust desktop color settings that's the one yeah. yeah and so it's for this monitor that i have them this is like so he's had they're yeah. not super adjusted you know but he's had me like you know that's what they always so this would go down to here It'd be right 50 down, 50 down and there. then gamma would be at one one and then all of them would be yep. yeah and that's that's all of them back to 50 51 yep. okay and then those are my post effects so now now you only have that color boosting on tarkov instead of just everywhere like with my settings to let you know because i showed you brightness and clarity so yeah or sorry for clarity and adaptive sharpen those are the only two set post effect settings that i was able to find any performance difference with so brightness saturation, literally so they're the only ones yes so brightness saturation colorfulness luma sharpen were all i couldn't find any difference in any scenario for performance with any of those okay so if you were like hey i'm struggling for gp bound performance but i still want to use post fx you can just turn off you adaptive turn those off. yep and then just use brightness saturation colorfulness and the luma sharpen instead base water what the fuck are the names of these? i, I don't know <laughs> i wish they had like made this more than four that you could see at a time because it's so hard to find the one there it is it's crazy sharp and crazy bright i know this is uh yeah, my eyes are actually wider right now than <laughs> we were before this. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. This is a, this is, this is a really bright dark. Yes. Holy. I actually might leave it like this. This is pretty cool. This is this is nice looking. I know actually. it's I know it's a I little know this is bright for some, but I think I could get used to this. This is like I I awkwardly, I don't you could keep this in or not. I know you can cut whatever you want. I I feel less depressed <laughs> for some reason. Huh. <laughs> no, I am currently staring at this image. Like it's I'm, no. If you want to, you're all folks. Go to you know, the right a little bit here. If you like, walk towards the right, towards the right wall where that building is. You can go into that building. It's a bit darker in there, and you can see what it looks like when it's a bit darker. Holy, these fucking greens are yeah. blowing my mind right now. I know it's like actually. I actually almost didn't realize this was a two tone sign. It's actually colorful. I know, like it's actually. I, it's 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 shocking this too this is like bluish white i didn't fucking i thought it was gray i fucking that's bluish white over there i thought that was gray too this is fucking <laughs> that's, there's there's colors and depth and shading yeah but this looks really clean actually this is this is clean with that now that his game is looking a lot better that is all we're going to do for this episode of pc sherpa we did have some additional things that we talked about for a little while, but I'm actually going to hold those from this video to maybe put into a bigger video that I'm planning for some time down the line. Since I'm sick, though, I'm going to keep this outro pretty short. Make sure you come to the streams on Friday and Sunday. Join the Discord, like, sub. I mean, you know the drill. Thank you for watching to the end. Let me know how you liked this video where I sort of left more chunks raw, in a sense. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Clem. Clocking out. Later.